Okay, okay. <laughs> I think we're ready to get started. Uh, it took a little bit to get setting up, but yeah, I'm easily, like, really distracted today. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what's been going on the past couple of days. And we'll we'll play a little bit of catch up. <laughs> this might be a little bit of an odd weekend. Never ready, and I always forget something. Either the mic, get the mics on. Yes, yes, yes. Uh B Tube Studios open the channel name or titles right. So hopefully I didn't forget anything today. Not that I won't probably like forget something. Um, part way into what we're talking about <laughs> but so hello circle hello pancake and hey shana what you guys up to today so let's talk about the past few couple of days uh my health kind of took a bit of a shit <laughs> i'll just be uh honest uh going into tuesday i had a really bad allergy attack and I didn't realize how much I was actually still recovering from that. But I felt all right. And then we got to Wednesday night. This is where things got a little bit scary. Because, no, it was a drinking stream. And, no, I did not really drink that much. Here's what happened and why it devolved into a really kind of upsetting event. I do apologize for that stream, by the way, because uh, I don't try to get wasted. Like, I like to drink, and I like to drink casually. So what happened? I contracted the stomach flu, like, probably a couple of hours before I even started that stream and just didn't realize it. So, uh, nausea and dehydration were already getting really bad. I don't get sick that often. Maybe once a year, maybe once every other year. But when I get sick, I get really sick. Like the stomach flu is enough to make me really dizzy, or dizzy and dehydrated to the point I can't really walk. And that happened while I was drinking. So I spent a couple of hours hurled over in the bathtub puking multiple times i don't condone support or am against drinking but shit happens and i was not planning on that happening so at least going forward just because i know my luck is uh not that great <laughs> i'm gonna have to set like some sort of limit on when i drink and what i drink just in case that happens again. Because, I mean, if I was going to hit hit with the stomach bug, I probably didn't need to be on stream to begin with. Because I was already going to be dizzy and I was probably going to be puking. Fortunately, I didn't drink to the point of actually, like, getting wasted. Like, that, that would have got actually scary. But... I slept well that night. I slept very well that night because the past couple of days I had just not been sleeping at all from the allergies. So oddly enough, I slept really well until I actually woke up and my stomach was so devoid of food and water that uh, I spent all day just eating crackers and drinking water and going back to sleep. <laughs> That's all I did. But uh, I'm feeling a bit better today. Uh, not as dizzy, not as nauseous. I'm still having to watch what I eat and just, you know, be careful and stuff. The same things you always do, whether you get the flu, whether you get the cold, whether you get the 24-hour stomach bug. It takes time for your gut bacteria to build it back up. And uh, yeah, I was not really thinking I might stream today. And then I was like, no, no, some stuff has happened that we need to kind of go over. <laughs> And it's just like, well, let's wait. I'll take a nap. And then I kind of slept past. And then uh, there was somebody else that I was watching. And I had reasons for not breaking away from their stream. <laughs> More on that later. Because I, I don't want to spoil the surprise until they post it themselves. But uh, yeah. So let's kind of talk about some other things. Uh, 
I was kind of thinking of like changing the direction of the streams going forward in a recent post I put on Twitter. And then we had some, uh, <laughs> we woke up to some surprises, needless to say. I woke up, saw the post on my Twitter and went back to bed thinking I was dreaming or was April 1st. <laughs> but no. Uh, there's some really kind people out there that uh, got a hold of my wish list last night. One of them I know, JB, uh, gifted both a USB dongle for my computer as well as a copy of Mario Odyssey, which we'll eventually get to play, hopefully on stream. Like, that's what I intend to do with it, at least. But uh, there is an anonymous gift that I, I can't pinpoint who it could have been like i've thought and i've tried to guess but here's the thing not that many people i know know japanese let alone would i would think have the mind to go and type in the literal kanji for himitsu <laughs> oh maybe it was pancake <laughs> oh wait no i told you about that didn't i Actually, I've probably told anybody who's asked what it meant, and I've I probably didn't leave myself a window for the person who did actually do it <laughs> to uh, lightly reveal themselves. <laughs> yeah, I know I told you, and it's just like, wait, wait, wait. No, it's just like, no, I know you didn't. And it's just like, shit. So, uh, I'm just going to be really grateful to whoever uh, dropped the Nintendo Switch gift to her throat last night well technically it was this morning because i saw it was like three four hours after when i got up the first time which would have been like one o'clock two o'clock my time but yeah uh that that's really fucking big <laughs> like uh wow like damn i really don't know what to say <laughs> other than <laughs> We're uh, going to have a lot more to bring to the stream pretty soon. Especially with the Mario Odyssey, because that's a, that's a game like I, I really want to learn the any percent speedrun for. Of course, we're going to spend a couple of days in the streams playing it casually, because I've not had very much luck doing that via emulator. Anybody who's seen some of the screenshots I've uh, experienced would have noticed a glaring green body of water. Needless to say, it wasn't that playable. So I'm looking forward to playing this like completely fresh and stuff. So to kind of facilitate that, I've been asking people about capture card options. Trying to see like what's good, affordable, sort of just like what's a good like price point to get started with. And I got a really good recommendation to not jump the gun and just wait till everything comes in. Because <laughs> something can go wrong and I end up with like capture cards and stuff and maybe something on my computer doesn't work. But uh, yeah, so I just decided to wait and that does give me time to do research. Like I initially was going to just straight up charge the Elgato AG60. But I looked on Amazon and they bumped the price by 40 bucks for no reason. Like the price of the HD60 Plus didn't change either. And they're nearly the same price. And I'm kind of like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> it's like, why did it jump 40 bucks for no reason? So I've also been looking at other options. Like, um, I think someone recommended like the Razer Ripjaw. Someone recommended... Like this live mini player 2 plus or something? I'm not sure. But basically, I uh, probably need to do a bit of research and stuff. And then people are already like recommending games that they want to see me like either have fun or suffer with on stream. <laughs> so I, I've thrown a few other things on the, the throne wish list as well as check a few things down. Just either they either felt irrelevant or they were like pre-order stuff that uh is like way past. And I'll probably just wait till they release and see if I can find like 
a legit source or something after they do. But uh yeah. So uh I think that's all that I had on mine. I was gonna talk about the schedule changes, like instead of doing a different game like each day and forgetting and not finishing stuff. What I was going to do is the next couple of streams, we are going to finish Sophie 2, be it in one stream, two stream, however long it takes us. Then we're going to finish Metal Gear Rising. Now, I know we're about to finish that one technically, but I do want to play... Was it Bladehound? I forget the dog's name. But he has a side story as well as Jetstream Sam. I don't know if I'll do Revengeance mode on stream, but we might. That could be a casual Friday idea, actually. So even if I finish some games, I'm not going to completely write them off as dead. We may do something for them on like Fridays and whatnot. Or just by request, I don't know. Uh, and then we'll finish Devil May Cry 5. And then I'll try to remember what else we started on the channel and just didn't finish. But uh, outside casual fridays it'll probably be a lot of apex legends like trying to get into it more seriously like i've been kind of watching a few videos for sort of like just techniques and stuff i guess like bunny hopping wall jumping stuff uh, as well as a lot of other seven days to die content like i know we were doing the wizard kind of playthrough recently uh there's also like the half day horde every night kind of challenge that i like to run occasionally for the hell of it but there's also i think a lot of work that's been done on the darkness falls overhaul mod pack and i may revisit that since i've not played it in alpha 20 yet i've played it twice in alpha 19 it's really nice. They handled the progression extremely well. So I'm going to have to see what kind of twist I can throw on that. But uh, now I'm, I'm thinking we might not get as much <laughs> 7 Days to Die content going on. Because once... Uh, it, like, I'm pretty confident that the Switch will show up and everything is going to work just fine. But once I have that... Once uh, I also get the copy of Mario Odyssey, get a capture card and whatnot, we're probably going to be doing a lot of Switch streaming on this channel. Like, I don't know how long it's going to take to learn the any percent category, but I'm also kind of interested in the 100% category. <laughs> so it may take us a... Like, I'm not even going to try to, like, downplay it. It may take a couple of months where we do a couple of streams of me, like, just... Uh, grinding techniques, learning routes, and just having a bunch of fun with it. Because I've tried to learn a few like speedruns in the past, like Yakuza Kiwami 2. That one wasn't too bad, but even then it still took a few days, and I've not finished learning it. <laughs> like, I could probably do half the speedrun poorly, and then the other half I've yet to learn. But, uh, yeah outside that like there's probably going to be more games like i really do want to play the kirby one at some point because uh like there's a couple of games like i watch i like i watch i like see others play and whatnot and then there's the games that you see and it's just like i can't stop watching this when do i get to play <laughs> and that's in the whole kirby situation for me and i've done what i can not to spoil myself but uh we will have to see we will have to see Needless to say, there's going to be a lot of stream content to come. Whether it's an influx of new games, or it's going to be just a lot of time spent on speedrunning. We're just going to have to go and <laughs> go over there. But uh, I know this stream probably won't be too long, so I'll try not to talk too much about uh, other things. Like We can do that tomorrow, we can finish up on Sunday as well. Because uh, there's a few ideas I kind of got from other people, like past couple of streams I've been watching and they could be really fun. things like doing random bingo memes that people have posted and uh, I forget who originally did the sort of character sheet chart thing 
But I know Nua Nightstone did her version on it. And it's things like the name, age, are you left, right, on a like a bunch of different sliders like passive, aggressive, timid, uh, active, stuff like that. So I feel like it could be a great way to like break the ice the first couple 15 20 minutes of a stream before we actually get into the game just to do something a little different. And when I say different, I mean it's something I think would be fun to do. I would have fun doing and hopefully somebody else will have fun <laughs> doing with it. But uh I don't want to underplay like I take any sort of like fan art or gifts like pretty seriously. So, hopefully I can think of something else, like, over the next couple of days, as far as what would be a good, like, really way to just, like, celebrate them. And who knows, maybe we do, like, I don't know if I'll do, like, a 24-hour thing in Mario Odyssey the first day. We might do, like, a 12-hour stream, though. We'll have to see how I'm feeling, because uh, I might be a little biased right now, just because my stamina is probably going to be low until I'm, like not sick <laughs> but we'll see we'll see we'll see there's a lot of fun things we can do and i really do want to like the past couple of streams i just had a lot of i guess stress going on in the back and i don't know after i had that night of sleep it's really weird it's the night that i get sick and puke a whole bunch i sleep really well it's like, why can't I sleep really well on a normal day? <laughs> but for whatever reason, if I don't sleep too well multiple days on, it kind of messes with me a little bit. And I don't know. I just slept really well, and I feel, like, fine, completely normal again. It's so strange. Like, none of the sleeping medications I use help me to sleep that well to begin with. <laughs> so, okay. We'll talk more about this random stuff on Saturday and Sunday. For now, we won't be playing Sweet 2. We'll pick back up on that tomorrow and Sunday. So let me go pop open Blue Stacks. Because uh, as far as the surprise game for today, if you are familiar with the series Princess Connect by Sidegames, they've also done two seasons of anime by now. I really need to catch the second one at some point. But the point is, that game, that series, on going into April 1st, they released a kind of spin-off game. Which is, I guess, like a 3D auto chess? I, I don't know. Like, I've not played it myself. I've definitely avoided every spoiler possible. But uh, here's the catch. They're only opening the server's for seven days <laughs> and the problem is the game looks really good and it looks like their budget on this was bigger than the original game and i'm just kind of like well, why do they do this why do they go so hard on april's falls they like i think a couple years ago the gochuma no usagi discuss series the one with the chino and whatnot they did a fantasy game trailer site and it looked like it could have been an actual game, <laughs> but it was just an April's Fool's thing. But uh, I really do admire their uh, dedication and stuff to April's Fool's. Like, I've never seen another country go that hard on taking a joke to being as serious as possible without being serious. <laughs> so, I won't talk too much on that, we'll just hop right into it. And let me see if it's going to pop open on. Oh, yep. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Let me know how the audio goes, because I've not adjusted Bluestacks audio at all. I'm also surprised it's capturing the game directly instead of the little menuing. I 
I know it's bloody cute. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, would you not play a game like this? Like, would you not buy a game like this? <laughs> and this is an April Fool's joke from the developers. <laughs> and yeah, anybody can play this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to have like a JPIP or something to get the APK by normal means. But you can just go on Kuap and it's like one of the top recommended games right now if you wanted to download on your phone or tablet or something. It will be in Japanese though. Fortunately, I can read that to a mild extent. So like privacy policies and terms of agreement, which we aren't even going to read. But uh, oh, I guess there is a small download. Yeah, it won't take that long. But yeah, everybody's in for a surprise, myself included, because I love the series. I really do. Oh,よ。お目覚めになられたのですね、アルジ様。私は偉大なるアメス様によって発見された。<laughs> <laughs> we already know her name. Hi. Watakshi, Aruji sama no gaide ko tsutomemas. Kokoro desu. Yes, this is Kokoro. Spelt with 3 Ks instead of 2. She's also probably my favorite character in the series next to Kyoka. If anybody knows the characters for this game. Dewa Aruji sama. Watakshi kara hitotsu o tazune itashimasu. And no, I couldn't tell you what my top three is, because the third slot I can never decide. There's too many good options. <laughs> of course, we'll just type in our name as usual, and we'll get going. By default, the player protagonist's name is like Yuki or something. As far as the anime lore goes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hungry. <laughs>。こちらのおにぎりをどうぞ。眠っておられる間に私が作っておいたものです。こんな状況ですが、アルジ様のご創建であることが私にとっては何よりの喜びでございます。I always forget the reading on this one. I think it was Jijo, or something to do with like worries. Where's the situation? Jokyo. Oh, so it's like a replica of their guild house, huh? So I guess they're in like an alternate universe, maybe? Arujisama, Oh, my eyes are really going crazy, aren't they? My I think it's where my glasses, the upper rim, gets in the way of the webcam. I looked over for a second and just like, wait, that don't look right. I'm not opening and closing my eyes that fast. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
主様がお休みになられている間<笑>私が調べて分かったことが一つあります、oh, what did you find out? What did you find out? どうやら私たちはここから移動できないようです主様そちらの出口と思われるドアを開けてくださいませ They can't leave? It won't open. Akanai, ne. Mataximo, Chikara Ipai, Akeo to Shimashtama. Muridesta. Soledo Koroka, Tatemono, no Tokonimo, Kizuhito to Skera de Nainodes. Mado, what did they own you? Garasuni Hibisra, I must say. Hm. Masani, Hapo Sagarina, Jokio desta. This no de Mataxi. Oh, so you can still cook, but they seem to be sealed off from every exit. Oh, <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> With this line of logic. So, yeah, but. Sees that he's asking about what kind of bento it is, maybe. Oh, that's. My knowledge of kanji has severely diminished in the past year or two. <laughs> so that was probably Edo. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna try to use his abilities. I have no idea what that says. Ah, Kokoro ga nakkama ni narimashita. She's joined the party. She's also been set as the leader. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Sin How are you doing today? I do want to start a tutorial battle, yes. So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> also, tell me what kind of game this is. So, yes, we'll definitely do the tutorial battle. Oh, if it's like a multiplayer, I guess they have like little emotes and stuff. Well, at least she remembers how to fight. <laughs> That'll be helpful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's see, so the guild, the selected guild members, HP and attack. Basically, all their stats will power up. That's what the other ones. And they're chosen at random. So 
protect your sturdy. Oh, those are our sturdy units. Everybody recognizes Kiaru, I'm sure. Hekorina, Mimi, and I forget the tiger girl's name. <laughs> Well, this must be like the opposite team. So we have Tamaki, Kurumi, Akari, and Nanaka. Or you can. Oh, you spin coins to re roll. Your starting units? Question mark? Oh, it's the shop window. So your shop selections are right. Okay, and they refer to the coins as rupees. <laughs> oh, cool. So rather than upgrade, it gives you a second unit. And depending on which guild you select, I guess you want to focus on grabbing those units? Because all three of these are in the same guild. The food. Brigader, I forget what they called themselves. <laughs> oh, oh, they have a grid system as well. There must be some sort of bonus for using the same jobs as well. So it looks like she's got Defender and Tank or something. Synergy effects. Okay. So you fill up the verticals. And one full one gives you one perk or one synergy for that passive. And this f next one's gonna take three. Hmm. <laughs> I see, so they just kind of auto battle, hence the name auto chess. Take up 
得できるルピの量がバトルの結果に応じて変化しますルピの他にも各ラウンドが終わるたびにリーダーは EXP を獲得しますおめでとうございます EXP を2位獲得してリーダーレベルが3になりましたこれで1つのラウンドが終わりましたどちらかのライフがゼロになるまでラウンドを重ねバトルを進めていきます同じユニットを3体集めるとランクアップしますペコリーナ様を購入してランクアップさせましょう私ペコリーナ様がランクアップして AC を攻撃力スキルが強化されましたランクは最大3段階までアップできますランクアップのためにペコリーヌ様を集めていきましょう Six copies. Wow. Okay. この星はユニットのレアリティを表しますレアリティは5段階あり星の数が多いほどレアリティが高くて強いユニットです、so、interesting that Nozomi is a one star in this game She was one of the base three stars in the,、uh, the official title. ユニットの排出率はこちらで確認できます。リーダーレベルが高くなるほど、高レアリティのユニットの排出率もアップします。次のラウンドのショップが自動で更新されるので、星二の紬様を購入しておきましょう。先ほどのラウンド終了時にリーダーレベルが3になったのでバトルエリアに配置できるユニットの上限も3体に増えましたよ EXP はルピで購入することもできます EXP 分のルピを消費してリーダーレベルを上げてみましょうおめでとうございますリーダーレベルが4になりバトルエリアにも4体のユニットを配置できるようになりましたそれでは紬様を配置してタンクシナジーを追加で発動させましょうあ、oh, そ、right. うか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうか、そうバトルの途中ではモンスターが登場するラウンドがございますモンスターからはランダムの装備が入手できますので頑張って倒しましょう OK now that's different so the second round it breaks from fighting against someone to fighting against a monster spawn which you have the chance to get equipment from This is a pretty fancy little game. So, the higher your, the, your、uh, leader level goes up, so do the chances of the higher rarities. Kaori was a very nice unit in the base game, especially for like boss raids and stuff. I think her passive was something along the lines of the more she hits the target, the more damage she continues to do. And it wasn't capped either, but bosses would eventually start to do so much damage you would die. But she was very strong, very strong. So you also have the option to reset the store. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> well, there's all the other five Pekos we need. <laughs> Let's see how Onaji Yune Atsumete rank up. Onaji Yune Santa Atsumerto rank up. Sairai san rank made kyoka kano des. Skill kyoka and status up. Okay. Can also sell units to get back rupees. Poor Yuki. <laughs> That was another one of my favorite characters. Probably the only guy in this game. Well, next to Yuki. Well. That's right. MC's name is Yuki, while this guy's name is Yuki. That always confused me. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to abbreviate it. Basically, that last screen was basically get multiple copies, uh, rank up the unit, get more multiple copies, and rank them up again at most you can rank them up to rank 3 and basically that just enhances their stats and their skills so in this one saying it's basically can sell units I don't need back for rupees and let's see special area space oh I guess it's referring to these two areas <laughs> ユニットをさらに強化してみましょう。入手した装備はこちらの装備リストから確認できます。これで強敵が相手でも安心ですね。最後に編成をもっと強くしてみましょう。ユニットをもう一回配置してシナジーを追加で発動するという予想です。Basically saying we can upgrade the leader level again and try to get more synergies going. If we can get more units down. まずはバトルエリアに配置可能なユニット数を増やすために。that's exactly what it wants us to do. So it's wanting us to get the assassin synergy going. Okay, let's activate our synergies basically. Same synergies, units with same synergies, keep gathering them. And just basically max that out and get the most effect out of it. a little guide system as well to, I guess, try to guide you in matching your synergies. It does a lot more damage that second time. Wonder what decided the damage difference though. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, 
keep forgetting the game's like completely in Japanese, so some things I might have to explain. <laughs> Oh, our favorite lamp, huh? Or lantern, my bad. <laughs> Okini iri no lantern. Ah, basically, we've seen new furniture. See, this game even has like little notification announcements too. It's like, why you make this a one week game? <laughs> This has potential to be a lot more. See, you've even got like battle points in there. Stuff. So you have the play guide if you need to go back over something. You have like memories, maps. I'm guessing the more you play, the more story you get as well. But uh, you can definitely see a lot of people have been playing this quite hard. Kinda of scrolling a little bit to see if I see a friend's name, because I know he's been playing this all night. No, but he's probably still trying. <laughs> oh, it's kind of different options to have, so we're already running at like. Oh, so I could technically boost the quality, huh? Could run it at 60 FPS. I wonder that. Probably have me reload the game on it. Or make me... Ducky, I have to reload it myself. As far as the battle, yeah, we want to leave the emotes on. So, let me go ahead and uh, reload the game real quickly. Because if we can make it look better, we may as well. <laughs> oh, you having crispy pancake? Oh, I see. Welcome back, pancake. <laughs> what you up to? <laughs> they are assuming to be petted on the head. <laughs> Yeah, welcome home, welcome home. <laughs> I like some poor Mega Map. <laughs> I know that's funny. I'm gonna try not to take another nap today because I don't wanna keep the whole sleeping all day routine. <laughs> Just while I need the rest to heal up and stuff. Hopefully I'm back like, on a normal schedule tomorrow. We'll see. I do need to keep hydrating though. <laughs> oh yeah, that sharpened up the graphics big time. I thought it looked a little grainy, but uh, yeah. I was already taking a drink, but I'll take another one since Sergal wants me to. <laughs> Ah, thank you for the water. <laughs> yeah, good timing. Good timing. Okay. So let's hop into the... Oh, so that's the whole gimmick behind this. Keep ranking up and gathering battle points and she'll keep remembering stuff. You can always redo the tutorial, huh? Huh. I wonder if you have, like, players versus players, or just player versus player. Either that's something we're gonna unlock later, they have content planned for this during the week that it's uh going to be running. Is it happy April Fool's Day or just a <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> I know it's strange, it's like they really went all out on this. It's crazy. 
Oh, you can even set the battle arenas you want to play on. Let's go in order and check out this one next. And then we'll hop into the main battle and see what it uh, throws us into. It's like having learned that you can bring her memories back by battling or something. In order to find new teammates and allies, we've came to the battlefield. Oh yeah, there's a slight FPS drop, but you can tell the graphics potential for the game was definitely high, as it is in the uh, the video trailers. <laughs> I'm actually surprised the game doesn't run it high by default. That's alright. Okay, so we're entrusting it to her. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I'll have to do a bit of translation stuff, which is fine. The main selling point, at the very least, is definitely be the graphics and the gameplay. And most of the text will probably be largely irrelevant. But anything that really kind of stands out, I'll try to key in on. Especially for like some of the story stuff. Like we're trying to figure out, I guess, not just her memories, but our memories. Why we've ended up in like an alternate version of our guild house, but we're not able to leave. Except this well, this magic portal just happens to be there and it takes us here. <laughs> Went out for dinner? Oh, what'd you have for dinner? The sound of something crying. There must be a monster on the way. Or something. Or it's just a wild Pecorin looking for food. <laughs> Quite literally asking us if we have food on us. <laughs> yeah, food is a great way to enjoy the weekend. If it wasn't for my stomach, I'd probably get something to celebrate the occasion. But I might do that on Saturday or I might do that on Sunday. Just because I don't want to push my stomach too hard. <laughs> I'm still just kind of snacking on crackers and some sandwiches and stuff. As well as soup, and I do think my family's making a potato soup tonight, so I can definitely enjoy some of that. Windy single burger. That makes me hungry for one of their, like, triple baconators. Like, I don't eat out that often, but, uh, I get really hungry when I do. <laughs> <laughs> she's wanting us to share the onigiri, but apparently she's also lost her memories as well, because she does not recognize us. Oh wait, I I kind of forget whether or not she remembers her own name to begin with. I feel like we named her Pekorinu as far as the story goes. Or Pekorin. I can't remember. Because that might be why she doesn't recognize her own name. It might be because it's a name that we gave to her. And one more hydration coming right up. <laughs> and thank you for the water, Mr. Gunther Maxwell. 
or Z, whichever you prefer. <laughs> I always forget. I'll probably just go off what I see on the screen. My mind doesn't want to work right now. <laughs> Despite that, I'm translating what I can. <laughs> Temporary amnesia. Yeah. We also had the same thing when we first arrived. Nandatte. <laughs> Oh no, Sergo's going to be here. Make sure I hit the right key this time. I know I said it to the minus key, right? Come on, tell me this works. Not that I want it to work, but uh, okay, it, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, 10 minutes. I'm counting. I've also got my eyes on you. I'll remember. I remember. Each one of you that redeems this shit. <laughs> more head pads, more of the cursed head pads. <laughs> That's what they really are. <laughs> but yep, she does not seem to remember anything. <laughs> yes, the duality of humanity. And I'll eventually explain. I guess sometime later, whenever we do like the uh, the bingo stuff for the little character infogram, I I ran over my words. Little info sheet thing that I saw Nua doing recently. I can probably explain why the whole ear thing is technically canon. It's just I don't have the ability to also throw on human ears because I didn't ask for them on the model. But if I did, I would also throw those in whenever the the big ears on top of my head go away. <laughs> to head pet or not to head pet. That is the question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's help her get her memories back. Oh, so I guess we're gonna kind of like not only get our memories back, we're gonna go through like each of the characters and how they get the memories back or something. That's interesting. <laughs> the calls it cute or not. That is the real question. And the answer is that Zeph is uber cute. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I guess it is uh, random teams they put you with, as well as not just like 1v1s. So I guess there's like monster battles as well? <laughs> this will certainly be interesting. Because we've not done a... Or wait, we're battling more people at once. Or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and grab one of you. Seems we've got a lot of mage and recovery. We've only got two coins. But, uh, I might also take Rima. Oh shit, it does not give you very much time. Yeah, I messed that up. <laughs> Fortunately, the first round's not against someone, it's just around monsters. Yeah, we'll use Yuki. That means we'll also want to use, uh, I think her name was Nanaka? I know, the series is just full of, like, extremely cute characters. Okay, so... We're definitely gonna bring you on the field. And... I have money to upgrade. So I'm also gonna throw Rima on the field. And... we'll go with that. 
Oh, that's right, I had equipment I could throw on him. Yeah, I will point out again, this character is Mel. And he's like the only Mel in the series. <laughs> We have a lot more equipment I can throw on. Do we have a new shop open up? No. Oh cool, I can do that at any time. I did not know that. Okay, now we're going into a PvP round. So I'm definitely gonna take Miyako. Upgrade. I'm probably gonna hold off from these units. But I'm definitely going to throw her between these two. I'll still leave Reem on the field for right now. I could have brought those two back. Oh, this person didn't upgrade to level 4. They get turned into pudding. Okay, this time for sure let's... When it lets me... Oh, you get like a little fire icon, I guess, when you're on a roll and stuff. Now, I know I've already got one of you, but I do want Maho for the buffs. Uh, not gonna take you. I'd like another Rima if possible. For now, we're gonna hold off. Okay, this should work for right now. I gotta try not to make the mistake of buying too many units, trying to be a completionist. <laughs> They really are. Like, there's so many good characters. I should probably sell this unit. Because I don't think I'm gonna try to fill her. I don't have any icons that really match up. I think I need to... Do I, which screen do I go to to sell? This one. We need... Yes, I'll definitely take an extra copy of Maha. I'll hold on to the rest. Upgrade once again. And... I'm gonna throw... Lima... On the field as well. Oh, I didn't mean to move her forward. I must have done something. <laughs> Which one? Maho? You said- oh, Nanaka says well. Because okay, there's only two girls with staffs right here. So it's definitely one of those two. The anime was done really well. I really want to catch the second season now that it's done. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna save my coins. I don't know if I want to roll this. Yeah, I'll save. I want to pull her back. I might just go ahead and pull Yuki back as well. We'll just go with this. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to catch it sometime. Oh, that assassin that jumped to the back just instantly melted. But they did make a di good distraction because I lost uh, Miyako pretty quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, I know that meme gif you're talking about. I've seen it too and it's hilarious. I just realized I had extra equipment I could have... Uh, Throwing on Lima and Maha.
Okay, the reset is not good. I'm gonna upgrade once, reset the shop once. I'm gonna reset the shop twice. And with the last slot, oh, shit. I feel like I had at least one or two more seconds, but I'm guessing there's a slight delay. But yeah, I want to fill Nanaka. Fortunately, this other guy is still level 5, so... This might put us in the lead in terms of HP left. Okay, they melted really fast. Okay. We are on a hot streak. Oh, she was already on the field, so I technically need a new unit. If I don't start getting extra copies. And, uh, what was the 5% chance of getting a 4 star? So we got extra HP going. That puts me over the limit, though. I didn't know they count as... Oh no, I, I can't count. When did I get a second Miyako? Err. Oh no, it's because I had three copies that fused to be one and I must have filled the turret by... For some reason. Okay. So that's not bad. I, I, I can have uh, two Miyakos. But I should probably pull... Well, no, they're technically ranked two. That four star melted pretty fast. I am not sure how I'm coming back from this, because it looked like I lost half my team really quickly. Or maybe Yuki's just like really strong. Yeah, bow down and... <laughs> I shouldn't have won that one. Okay, PvP round. We... are gonna do one reset. And yeah, we didn't get anything. I'm gonna move you back. I'm gonna move you... No, I'm gonna move Yuki forward. I think she's a caster. I'll move her one more back. Otherwise, we'll rank up on the next round. What's cute short? <laughs> yes, I fill three of those. <laughs> I'm not that short. I am under 150 centimeters though, so. I'm still technically short-ish. Oh, that's the first player out. <laughs> okay, are we going into another PvP round? Oh, we're fighting the Chimera next. We are not getting lucky with the unit rolls. I will take the four star though. Uh. I might have to sit Maho out for right now. What was your name again? Rin? Oh, I... Oh, I... For whatever reason, I thought four stars took a... No, it's because I miscounted. That's why. I'm throwing myself off. <laughs> I might just ditch... These ones. If I can use the four coins on something else. Okay, that was a lot of stuff. Like, what does this do? I'm not sure. But, um... Well, let me wait for the moment. I'm gonna give this to you. And we did not get lucky with the rules again. You can use both. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap Rima. I'm gonna 
going to upgrade and I will fill the second one of you. And I'm also going to throw you... You didn't have any armor on you, did you? Nor does that one. I should probably... Okay, that might be why Pudding melted so fast. I call her Pudding, but her name's Miyako. I have fun with the Genshin stuff. Hey, this is kind of a fun game. I will not lie. <laughs> I initially did not think I like, like auto chests all that much. I tried the Dota 2 Underlord thing when it first came out, and I had no idea what I was doing. Technically, I still don't. But it's fun. <laughs> okay, we're going to another PvP round next. Ah, uh, we have two Ninons. So I'm going to go ahead and take them, and I'm going to go ahead and scrap you. Uh, you're a two-star. I kind of want to keep you on the field. We'll put you on the field. I'm actually just going to go ahead and take her off. And you have equipment, don't you? So let me go ahead and pull that off and throw this one on the other Mia account. Uh... I probably won't keep you though. I kinda do want to keep you though. You have equipment. Oh, they can hold up to three pieces of equipment? I did not know that. Okay, we're good. we're doing pretty good right now. Though. I definitely want to get another Maho though. Didn't I buy two Ninons? Or did I already place both Ninons? No, I didn't place both of them. Uh, we're rank 8. I didn't even notice the 5 star in the last hole. I'm gonna save my coins. Uh, I wanna keep Yuki. And the puddings. You don't have any equipment. I need to take yours off. And we'll give it to Rain. Oh, I didn't realize how low everybody else's HP and stuff was getting. Who are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting the second place guy right now. Yeah, if you notice, I've not done a very good job of uh, working on synergies. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay so far. Did that character just come back to life as a skull or something? Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Both of those won, so I'm guessing they were fighting... Okay, now we're going to another PvP round. Hey, Kyoka's a 5-star! That's awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. And we're gonna throw her. But I'm also gonna surround her. Just in case. I... Mm, do I have any equipment to give her? Choke is also my second favorite in the game, by the way. This person has been buying a lot of units. But I'm assuming... I know the last one's probably a 5-star. This might get kind of close. No. No. 
team has a lot of self healing stuff. I feel like they had a lot better team than second place did though. Oh, I think Kyoka just like melted the rest of their team. <laughs> oh, they're out. So it's just me and him now. Looks like he was fighting against mobs and stuff. Okay, we get one more round to try to get stuff. Ooh. I grabbed the Kyoka. Actually, we have one more round. We have one more round. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change units. They do not give you very much time to micromanage. That's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. As far as what I'm going to do with the second Kyoka, if I don't get some rank ups, I might pull... I might actually pull Yuki. I'm not sure where his skills are. But I feel like taking out a 4 star for a great 2 star might not be the best idea. Uh, I do not think we're going to get lucky. Okay, we'll go ahead and take these ones. We did not get the Kyoka house. However, we did get a lot of uh, upgrades and stuff. So I want the main Kyoka to have all the damage. Okay, we should be good. Oh, my pudding up turned into pudding. <laughs> but as far as the damage that this Kyoka pushes out is crazy. I've got one without any gear, but that's one with gear. Oh, and we get to fight them one more time before they're completely knocked out. So we still get one more round. Okay, uh... I will grab the Nenika. Mikoto... Just buy all the 5 stars. And, uh, I will go and pull Maho. I will throw you on the front. I know you're kind of squishy at this point. So I need to pull you. And hopefully I get a chance to... Put equipment on you. I didn't get enough time to put Nemeka on the field, unfortunately. Oh my god. The burst. Like, that's what's carrying me, is Kyoka is just melting the enemy team. Hey, we win! We didn't lose a single point. Yeah, so we have 50 BP off of that. So that tells you just how much everybody else has been playing since this came out. If they're pushing... Let's see, 2,500 points. That's like 50 games. <laughs> that was fun, though. That was fun. ペコリーヌ様に私たちのことを思い出していただけると良いのですが。Let's <laughs> It really doesn't matter because she doesn't even comment on what he says. <laughs> ah, she remembers everything clearly now. 
私はやっぱりお腹ペコペコのペコリーヌですよね<笑>はい私にとってペコリーヌ様はこれからもずっとペコリーヌ様でございますコッコロちゃんありがとうございます<笑> She's already hungry. Some things never change. Okay, so they don't really recognize, like, the currency is different from the main game. Like, I'm pretty sure they called it gold. But in this world, they're referring to it as, like, rupees. And basically, what she's saying is she doesn't recognize the currency, the weapons, the equipment, any of that. But she knows, like, she immediately knows how to use them or make use of them. So, she's pointing that out as being strange. Seems like fighting is just a way of like regaining their memories, or they just came back on their own while they were fighting. So, then, no, 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 Because it's the rule? Question mark. Rule. So, can we see it? Like maybe this is just one big game. I don't think we can use the rules of our own people. I don't think we can use the rules of our own people. I don't think we can use the rules of our own people. I don't think we can use the rules of our own people. I don't think we can use the rules of our own people. たぶんこの世界には私たちにルールを守らせるだけの何らかの仕組みが存在すると思うんです元の世界に戻るためにはその仕組みを理解する必要がある気がします。それでは今後は皆様との合流を目指しつつ元の世界に戻る方法を探し
Umbrella Sword Princess. I wonder if she used that in the skin of hers or something. So I wonder if you changed the character as well. Oh, so you get up to six different ones. Okay, so each time you do the battle, you'll unlock a new one. So if we set you, yep, they'll show up on the front. <laughs> Can't forget to say yabai this ne. Cannot forget to say that. Basically, a tutorial telling us we can change our leader, but we done did it in advance. So. Oh, so once you hit level 6, you can start doing boss battles. I wonder if you'll get more, like, uh, boss points that way, or battle points. So, uh, how long have we been going? We've already been going for an hour and a half. I don't know if we'll do all sets in the same stream, but I'm, I'm not sure what to do, because uh, the game's only going to be open for a week. So... I don't know, if you guys kind of want to see more of this content instead, uh, we might uh, just play more Saturday, Sunday. Otherwise, I'm planning on going or getting back to Sophie 2 tomorrow. So I may continue this more on my own, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I kind of want to see the boss battle. Boss battles are like, I don't think I'm going to be one of those crazy people that go for like 2,500 points. Like, uh, I've got a lot of other things to do. But I do want to get the story out. So I'm assuming there's probably story up till six battles, and then they give you one big revelation at the end of the boss battle. And that's, I assume, like I said, this game is only going to be open for a week. I don't think they would give this so much content that, uh, you know, that it wouldn't be its own title. Who knows? Maybe it could be like an indirect beta test, or maybe they're testing the waters for their next title. But yeah, we'll do one more, and then I'm probably going to get go get food, and uh, I'll probably cut the stream early today. Like, I don't want to do too long of a stream, because... I'm still not feeling all that well, but uh, I did want to stream today just so I can kind of give a few announcements and obviously give a lot of thanks for the people that uh, dropped some gifts overnight and whatnot. Like, uh, once again, <laughs> really big thank you to those guys. So yeah, we'll do one more set and we'll be done for now. Yeah, so we're back to the battlefield. <laughs> there she is. Good old Kyari. Toriyaiza, she can smell people, apparently. <laughs> smell when someone's there. She's poking fun at Pecorine for being able to sniff out when someone's there, and she doesn't even realize that she's probably the one that's being detected. Oh, it's because she knows. She knows it's already as Kyari smell. <laughs> Her scent. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> Oh, 
ルガワペコリーヌ様鮮やかな腕前もとい花前でございますそんなことがあるか何者よあんたたち Looks like she's also lost her memories too やっと会えましたねケルちゃんお腹空いてませんか寂しくありませんでした口が悪いのは変わってませんから元気そうで安心しました人の話を聞けまるで知り合いでしたみたいな口ぶりで私に近寄るんじゃねえわよ殺すぞぶっ殺すぞ<笑> She's being really mean. <笑>聞き慣れたキャル様お気に入りの言葉私つい懐かしさを覚えてしまいましたお元気そうで何よりでございますキャル様<笑> The same usual k a r u c h a n a It's more k a r u c h a n a n a What is it? I'm not sure what it is. 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 I'm not s u r e t it is. I'm not sure what 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 it is. ついつい食べたくなっちゃうくらい可愛いですでも調理は必要ないんですありのままの味を処分します And then Pecorino goes about spelling nonsense 殺されて喜ぶどころかむしろ私を食べる気なんじゃない<笑><笑>誰が助けてやはりキャル様も私たちを思い出せないご様子ペコリーヌ様と同じく戦うことでご記憶が戻られるでしょう。ああ、早く思い出させてあげないと。It's like we better hurry up and cure her amnesia. そうですね。Bring her memories back. さっきまでの私もこんな感じだったんですかなんだか人の顔を見て勝手に物悲しくなってんじゃねえわよ<笑><笑>ちょうどいいわあんたのそのムカつく顔その王冠ごと吹っ飛ばしてあげるはい、okay, time to queue up again Oh, there's like three people with like purple borders I wonder how many battle points you have to have to uh do that Cause I noticed ours hasn't really changed to like bronze or silver just yet So I wonder if there's even like a ranked mode and stuff. Oh, oh, so it randomly selects your guild, it's not based on your leader. Okay. Interesting. Cool, we got two we can use right away already. So. This might be kind of greedy. But we're just gonna go with a single unit instead of leveling up. If this is a PvP round, that might. Okay, good. Just a monster round. Got at least one piece of equipment out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend points on.、Uh, Level. Okay, we'll hold off on these since we didn't get any two stars. I also don't want to roll anything. It's also giving us the option to use three characters. Uh, or should I just use duplicates? No, I wouldn't get that much out of it. So looks like we get one more monster round. Okay, we got a ring. And we got the sword. So we go ahead and give two pieces to Pekko. Okay, so let's see what happens. Going into a PvP round, so we'll take one more Monica and upgrade our level again. 
I uh, think we'll also take Ayame for the HP bonus. I don't know what our opponent's going to be using. But uh, I do want just a bit more HP to be safe. The Vipers of Anarchy. <laughs> okay, take one more archer. I don't think we're gonna jump into the Tomo. I think we're gonna keep uh, pushing our leader level for right now. It also gets me another level in Hunter. So every third regular attack, they have a chance to fire off three single target attacks for 40 damage each. I feel like that could be pretty strong early. If I can get more copies of him going. Oh, this person's like completely AFK. They didn't even set a person. Or maybe they just messed something up because they are leveling up their level. That was weird. Oh well, money's money. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of lineup do we get? That's Hunter, right? No, that's a different one. Uh, I think I want to focus. I'm not sure. Focus on these ones. We'll save our coins for now and see how this uh, lineup suggestion works. Ooh, nice. More equipment. It's always nice. I'll give you some damage and then I'm going to give the skill to Monica. Or is it like a plus stat item? Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab her because she's the hunter type that we're looking for. And we'll go ahead and expand our leader slot and throw her in. I might... I'll pull the weapon off, but I'll leave her the armor. I want my hunters to have the damage. That jump to the back was interesting. Definitely take another attack out. I uh, might go ahead and roll this one. Take another hunter. Uh, we could definitely go for more shields. So I'm not gonna pull anyone just yet. I don't have the time to, otherwise I would take out Ayame and put in Mimi. 
but I'm probably gonna need to work on expanding level again. I want one more hunter to get the level 4 hunter perk. So I'll take them if they show up in the lineup. Otherwise, we'll take you, we'll take you, and we'll hold on to the rest. Uh, you don't have any armor on you just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Monica back. Uh, leave the two hunters in. I'm just gonna move you off to the side. If they jump to the back, I want them to fall on these two. Let Monica take care of them. Then on the next level, if we don't get a new unit to place, I may go ahead and put in a second Mimi. That way we can get another HP bonus and another defense bonus. Ooh, that's not good. So apparently Yuki has some sort of skill that makes him invincible for a certain duration. That's why he was tanking so hard the last game. That's kind of a nice passive. For being a caster. Okay, so we didn't get what we are looking for. But that's okay. He gives us the chance to up our rank again. And we'll throw in a second Mimi. Oh, duplicates don't count. Okay, okay. Uh, chill. We'll take two passives. We get attack speed up as well as defense plus 80. Yeah, my team comp is definitely not holding up this round. This person knows what they're doing. So I'm probably going to need to change directions. I need one more hunter and then I'm probably... I'm probably going to need to go on the defensive. Or is this evasion? Actually, that is evasion. I could play for RNG. You are a four star. I'm gonna pull your weapon for right now. Give it to him. I might have to give up on the hunter approach then. Okay, some much needed equipment. I'm just gonna give it all to you. Because I'm gonna need you to carry me for right now. I'll take another copy of you. You are our last hunter. Nice, nice, nice. Uh. I need to make room. We're gonna drop Peku for right now. I need to get you on the field like ASAP. So we're gonna... I got way too many units on the field. I messed up. I didn't have time to place her. In the meantime, I am going to... Make sure they don't have any equipment on them. So who are we fighting? Well, we're fighting third place. They're definitely gonna win this. Probably. Yeah. Being down a unit hurt pretty hard. Okay, we're definitely going to up rank. Not even look at the units we get offered. Ah, uh, why'd you offer me a Pecorino so late? Okay, 
need to get the second Mimi out there. I need to get Shiori out there. And I need you to have piece of one. Okay, this might be okay. We have Hunter level 4 now. Which might not be worth it. We'll see. So I think what I want to do now is focus on evasion. And go for... RNG. That is if I can find... Yeah, this one. Okay, so we managed to make it through that one. So we're still okay for right now. But we're definitely going to be looking at upgrading Mimi, upgrading Mamaka. Hopefully not getting a roll like this. We're going to be hurting. Go ahead and grab you. And I think I'm just going to have to start pulling Mimi. We'll leave one Mimi out there because I didn't get time. Ooh, we are not getting lucky on the duplicates today. <laughs> We got really lucky last round, though. Yeah, I am probably dead on the next one. Yeah, I am not gonna go for Hunter next time. It does no damage. <laughs> I don't think we're getting another copy of you in time. It's too late for you to come online. You still have a chance. Monica still has a chance. We'll just have to see what else we get. Oh, if it's a PvP round, we're dead. Yeah, they've got a bunch of two ranks. Kind of close, but yeah. RNG crushed us. <laughs> yeah, we got our bronze rank up at least. Yeah, the guild that we rolled only had two people in it, and I think they were both relatively high star units. We might do one more before I go eat. Just because that one left a bad taste in my mouth. Do you remember us? <laughs> she probably doesn't want to. <laughs> She's back to her normal self. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
記憶を取り戻されたのですね私安心いたしましたえああうん<笑>世話をかけたわねコロッケそのあんたも。I always assumed Kurosuke was spelt in all katakana. She apparently、uh, uses the kanji. So, Kurosuke. I feel like that's the same kanji used in Taskeru. Which would be fitting. Interesting. <laughs> Welcome back, Gyaru. <laughs> なんであんたたちは一緒で、私は一人だったわけ<笑> ?Why were we together? And why was she alone? Basically, what she's asking. 私はアルジ様と一緒でございましたが、ペコリーヌ様は違う場所にいらっしゃいました。I think they're calling me for dinner, so I, I might have to stop here for now. えー、そっか。私だけじゃなかったんだ。ならいいわ。So, yeah, I'm assuming there's not going to be too much. Just play a couple more rounds through the boss battle. So, I might do that on my own time and we'll get back to Sophie 2 tomorrow. We'll go ahead and finish up、uh, whatever little story we're getting here. And then I will probably get off for now. しれっと話に混ざってくるのねあんたはあれってそんなに便利な代物なんだ転移魔法を応用してるのかしらそうではないようです術式は独自なもののため解読できませんでしたが転移装置の魔力には親しみのようなものを感じますさすがにそのあたりは調べちゃってるかまるで種も仕掛けもわからない手品を見せられてるような気分ね<笑>なんだかムカつくわ今はまだわからないことばかりですけどみんなが集まって記憶を示し合わせたら手がかりがつかめるかもです頑張りましょうケルちゃんここであの時ギルドハウスにいた美食殿のメンバーは揃いましたので残るはトゥインクルウィッシュの皆様でございますね。あ、oh, あ、yeah, like oh, そういえばそうだったわね。ヒオリたちも私たちのギルドハウスにいたんだっけ。Oh, so this happened while the two guilds were together. Interesting. He doesn't remember though. なんであんたが覚えてないのよ。確かあんたと。It、looks like the memories are still a little unclear. どうしたんですかキャルちゃんなんでかしら私がトゥインクルウィッシュを美食殿のギルドハウスに連れてきたんだけどその理由っていうか目的が She remembers bringing them over to their guild house but she doesn't remember the reason as to why she did キャルちゃんがトゥインクルウィッシュのみんなをギルドハウスに呼んだんですか私は覚えてませんけど She actually doesn't remember them being called over at all. Meanwhile, she has no recollection of any of that. Interesting. I mean, if you're asking me, I would definitely take a bite out of you. 
but that's just my own preference. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and just like finish that up tonight slowly and just kind of take it easy, go get some deep. And before I hop off, let me see who's on. Let me see who's still going. I think we're gonna go say hi to Rohi tonight. I think she's playing Five Nights at Freddy. So, I'm sure that'll make some pretty good content. So, let me type the raid message once again. She's got the underscore in her name. And we'll be ready for that in about 10 seconds. So, I'm go eat. Y'all stay comfy. Try not to get sick. Now, I will see you again on Saturday. Bye-bye.